What's up, guys? Um, I'm be 100 percent today. Uh, exactly who I am and what I believe in. Um, Chris Dubois is my business name. Um, because as a content creator, I figured I'd use my own name because I do have things that went on in my past that made me the way I am. Maybe think how I do, maybe see things the way I see things. Um, I'm always into motivating and pushing people forward and helping out. Why? Wasn't well, always the nicest person in the world. I didn't always do the best things, make the right decisions. Um, hardest part about my past, ex-drug addict, and go down the line of other negative things. That was the easiest to say online because I don't want to motivate anyone to do anything wrong. So, um, right now, I've been in recovery for a little bit. I've been motivating and helping other people. I actually live in what they call a three-quarter house, which is a home of all sober people who or like-minded move forward and try to do things. I am educated. I did go to college. Um, my trade at the moment is that I'm an electrician and machinist. Um, and I'm very good at them, actually. Uh, I've started my own business besides doing my content creating um, to do construction and remodels of houses. Uh, I started that right after Ian came, and I was looking for a new way to do things in life. Um, but the content creating is something I want to do because people need to get over themselves, for real. <laughs> I know you know what sells. Beautiful things, nice houses, fancy cars, pretty people, pretty ideas, selling products and shit like that. Well, let me tell you how it really goes from my perspective. I didn't make a lot. Of, well, I made actually a huge amount of money last week. And it all went to bills I had to put in for for. Uh, business licenses, insurance, uh, tools, because when I say I was starting from the ground up, I mean I was starting from the ground up, I got to this place with a shirt on my back, and in the hole, <laughs> um, and so started my own business because uh, I lost my job to the hurricane, to Hurricane Ian, um, and no unemployment, no nothing, they were just, I, who knows, I'm probably never going to see that, but who cares, um, so had started things from the bricks, man. And that's why I try to motivate and push people because it can be done. You just got to keep chunking away at it. And when you hit a wall, man, fucking either barrel through that bitch or start climbing. Don't let it fucking stop you. Don't even be shocked at it. Just know the walls are going to keep popping up in line. Um, walls, here we go. Here's an example. Man, I need something better than this little chinky ass camera I'm using. Nice camera, right? Nice camera. Broke it. Broke it. Bought it because I'm going to do better content creating. I bought that. I got the tripod to go with it, the set up, and get a lighting set up and everything so I can put out a bit of product that I broke it. Just my, I might as well just took that money, lit it on fire, and smoked it like a cigarette. But that's what I did. I'm suffering for it. I'm sort of mad at it. Um, but keep on moving. It broke. I, I, I'm in contest still right now. I'm, but when stress is built up, this is what I'm getting at too. Um, you got to rest. I woke up today, I had this huge plate in front of me, but 90% of it was for tomorrow, because today is Sunday, so I need to do stuff for tomorrow, I need to hit on the phones, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to put a bid on the job, I need boom, 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 so much stuff, one of my co, uh, one of my partners, he's coming back in town, so we got other jobs, just everything, but it's tomorrow, but I'm stressing, trying to figure out what I can do today, and eventually it got a little much, and I'm not crying about it. I'm just like, you know what? I'm fucking tired. And I went to sleep. I went straight to sleep. That's what I did this morning. I woke up at 5 a.m., did what I could do up until about, I don't know, 9 o'clock in the morning or so. And then I was like, man, I am exhausted already. I went to sleep. Then I realized I'm up until about 2 a.m. And I wake up at 5 a.m. every day. And I really was neglecting a lot by only sleeping three hours a day for weeks at a time because I'm steadily trying to keep it moving. And I, when I say I was tired, I was exhausted. I was, whew. anyway, guys, keep chunking at it, man. It will work out for you. Oh, yeah, and a little bit about my story. So, honestly, my story, um, Man, it's interesting because I do TikToks to try and hint at different ideas. 
So people don't just get this one story because my story is is it's simple to me. The other people is pretty complex. I was a nerdy kid. I still am a nerdy kid. But I also was a kid who raised on the street. I'm also a kid who had a loving family. I'm also a kid who had a family that didn't give two shits. It's really hard to, to put it all together because one is the reality, the hard, cold, this is what happened. The other is how you felt about it. And the other is everyone else's uh, perspective, right? Um, if you look at it from one perspective, I was just a bad kid, did fucked up things. From my perspective, I was always trying to do the right thing with what I knew and what I had. And since my parents had passed away um, when I was younger, I didn't have the information I needed. I didn't, I didn't know to just go get an ID and go get a job. I didn't know you need an ID. I mean, it's just, it's a lot to it. You know what I mean? So you, you have these paths that people take, and people want to judge and put this, oh, they're right or they're wrong. Really? Were you really in their shoes? Because I hate to tell you, if I grew up in a house full of thieves, and I'm starving, and the only talent I know how to do is to steal, and in my heart, instead of robbing you, I just took something out the refrigerator and ran. Either way to you, I robbed you. But in one instance in my head, I'd be doing you really wrong and cruel and getting more than exactly what I needed. In your eyes, either way, you took a loss. So this good, bad thing that people keep kicking around doesn't make sense to me. It never has. It never has. I watched, I watched, here's another example. I myself consider myself the worst father in the world. I'm not going to go into detail, but to me, I am. But then again, I've watched grown men raise their kids in such a way that literally make me feel better about myself. But they're great fathers because they're there. But the fact that they're there probably does more damage than being gone, man. I, I'm say I, I when I say I watched, I watched it. I mean, I watched, you know, I watched people beat on their old lady and fucking smack the kid around and 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 and, and just do drugs, just be the most heinous person in the world, but they're there. That's what matters, right? Causing trauma, so you get a kid like me. It's not right. Sometimes I want, never mind, anyway, get into the wrong thought patterns. Um. So, the thing about me is simple. I understand, and inside of me, I don't know what it is, I understand this greater good, this greater concept of good, and I'm not a religious person. I am not a religious person. If I ever make reference to God, it is not probably the God you're thinking of. Um, I, I want to hint on this because I get it asked a lot. Um, so do I believe in God? I'll say yes, but again, I'll dictate not yours. Remember, what you say? Not yours. That is very important. And if you start actually using that method of understanding, you'll probably get a lot more closer to your beliefs. Here's why I say that. If you tell me that your God is Johnny John John, right? I go, oh, my God is Johnny John John too. Well, I believe Johnny John John was born on Christmas. Well, fuck, I think, I believe my Johnny John John was born on December 24th. Are the same Jimmy John John? Everything else matches except for that. Or the same one. I mean, the answer would pretty much be no, right? They just really are close, but not the same. So, which one's right? Or do you just ignore the fact of your differences and just agree to disagree? Now, how far do you keep agreeing to disagree before you're both talking about two totally different things? Right? That's my biggest qualm with religion and, and things like that's I believe in religious choice, but don't ever say that your God's my God, because even if we read the same religious book, called him the same religious name, my understanding of him is much different than yours. As a group, we can get together and we can do things as a group based around that those concepts, but our belief system are always gonna be different. Everyone's is.
doesn't matter who you are. Everyone's belief in the same thing will vary by their own personal bias, traits, and decisions. So I get really offended by it. I always have. Because how dare you instill your thoughts using my belief to do what you want. Okay, you want me to run that by you again? Okay, actually I'll reiterate it so a little bit simpler. Your beliefs are going to, you're going to assimilate mine with yours because we agree on a name. But my God doesn't think abortion is wrong. Yours does. Are they the same God? You see what I mean? Well, one small detail, now we have a debate between me and you, and it isn't a debate between me and you. It's what our belief structure built on. But why is it an argument? We believe the same thing, right? No? That makes no sense. So we can agree to disagree and keep it separate and keep it personal. Your God believes in teaching by keep spitting the same thing someone else told you or you read over and over and over instead of knowing right from wrong or using it and showing the actions of it and teaching through action and teaching as an example it becomes a problem and that has changed my entire life that concept of thinking which I thought of when I was really young um, and what happened was was I stopped telling people how to do things or explaining it through lot through normal means I would put myself in situations sometimes just to learn so I wasn't speaking by rehashing old information that I didn't even vet myself I vetted the situation I vetted the information I vetted the the authenticity of it and then using those experiences I now have a detailed approach of how I got through that situation um, I'm trying to think of a decent one what do you do when you're homeless I've been homeless I've been homeless over and over a couple times in and out now I don't think I'm gonna do it no more because I'm just I'm done with that but um, and do mind you some of it was on accident some of it was on purpose some of it was I didn't care and to prove it I've probably been sitting on a decent amount of money for some years and I haven't gone after it because I was going through drugs divorce family problems heartache loss um, mental illness all these things were different factors where I knew in my mind I wasn't ready for it and now at this day where I'm at I'm ready to start reaping some of those things that I never took for 25 years because I wasn't I knew I wasn't the man I wanted to be to use that money now you can say that's military discipline or whatever but I am that discipline of an asshole and yes I say asshole I am an asshole who literally did drugs for years longer than I mentally and physically wanted to just because I wanted to beat it in my head that you don't want to do this no more I'm that asshole and if you don't, <laughs> if you don't believe me you can ask you can ask people throughout my life and through my path he was still doing it even though he had told everybody he, had, he was ready to quit and he's done yeah did he show the traits of it yeah 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 I would I walk around with drugs and not do them and have to remember to go do them or just give them away because oh man I'm going in a building I don't feel like security problems here you go have this that's not traits drug addicts do they they don't give their stuff away for free or or their drugs for free with no more left now it's one thing you have a lot and you share that's that's people do that but no one goes yeah is all I got and I got no money to get more but here take that I just don't feel like it today. No, that didn't happen. No. Um, but with that, also with the homelessness, did that too. I, my bout of homelessness was interesting because when I first was homeless, I had a house. I shit you not. My first year being homeless, I literally had a house. I know it doesn't make any sense. I literally had a house and I would walk by it sometimes. I just wouldn't go home. Yep, real talk. Um, 
then later as I as it didn't pan out too well uh, I had to kick people out of my house I had to uh, I had squatters and stuff think about it I'm homeless I got squatters whatever dude anyway so we got squatters had to get to my house clean the house up and some other stuff went home for a little bit and was like all well, my shit's gone stuff stolen St start surfing for my identity theft which caused more problems later on um and was like you know what? fuck it i'm out and just went somewhere else to be homeless across the country somewhere else and then i got an understanding of what it was really like to be homeless because there was no easy bake way like at that situation was I can just go home I could just go home ain't that a bitch so let's really do it so the next time I did it I did it in a city I never even been to never knew anything whatever so I really got an understanding of it um lived under a bridge but the problem I noticed was that um I already had too much experience and understanding uh so it still wasn't that hard um yeah, it was actually, it wasn't that hard. Um, yeah, it's it's amazingly not actually that hard. It sounds really messed up. It's hard when you're out there and you see no vision of where you can go. That's when it gets hard. There have been there were times where I felt um, I didn't have it in me to push forward. And then that made it, that the walls came crashing down. It made it especially hard. But 90% of the time, I knew what I could achieve if I wanted to. Um, so, yeah, I, I was homeless. I've had my tent raided. I've had people break in and steal shit from my stuff. I've gotten I've gotten attacked multiple times just because I was homeless. And that's a real thing. Um, and hopefully, if my content gets out there and I make millions of dollars, I'll get everyone off the street. And I swear, in the homeless camps, I'll put security around there because some people are just fucking vicious and sick because they have something and no one else does. Yeah, I mean, they're just outright. I was sleeping in a parking lot. And I called a somewhat so-called friend of mine. And I'll never forget, like, people just came up to me. And was like, look at this homeless piece of shit. They were drunk or whatever, and they went to one just tried to fight me. But for laying in the corner, away from it. I wasn't even on the street. I was, anyway, whatever. It's rotten. It is rotten. And people are just rotten. Uh, that's why afterwards, I spent a lot of time as I was working, making money. If I saw a guy sleeping out there, man, I'd walk up to him. Because I, I was so used to it. And you don't even know how how rough it is out there. If that guy's sleeping on that concrete, I used to think that, oh, he's just doing it either to be seen, so you get people to know he's home to get something. Now, it's probably because he's so fucking tired, he's excommunicated or doesn't want to deal with human beings, so he's, and there's a lot of reasons why, but it is not what you think. So I walk up to these guys, I reach right in their pockets while they're sleeping, put in a $20 bill or food or money or something, maybe shit one time, even put a fucking, uh, a little card, a debit card, or whatever I had with like 20 bucks on it. And just wrote the pen on the there you go, stuff in his pocket. He didn't move. He's not going to. He's not. Because he's sleeping in that public area, so he's safe. Ain't that a bitch? It's a really weird feeling, but if I'm sleeping out there and you reach in my pocket, I'm not moving. I'm not even worried about it, bro, because there ain't nothing you're going to pull out of that motherfucker that's going to be worth your time. Um, yeah, so I'm reaching their pockets. No one, and it's, it's, you're so used to it because you know what it's like. It's a whole different different atmosphere, you know. Um, let's see what else: homelessness, drugs. Uh, oh, and before you know, Mr. Don Juan, pimp boy, whatever, all the girls and everything. I went through that. Uh, that was cool, but it really isn't. It isn't, man. That isn't a way to find happiness. Your happiness in girls. No, you're just trying to impress the guys because you don't feel like as much of a guy, as much of the dudes or whatever. I, I, I kind of learned that over time. Like getting a woman ain't it ain't impressive, bro. I don't care. All you and I even hear rappers and saying all my bitches are dimes, dog. That, that is not a difficult task. Like I mean, I'm just so unenthused by it nowadays because I see somebody go, oh, look at this girl, look at her. I'm like, dude, didn't go get her. What do you mean? Blah, blah, blah. I, see, that's why you can't go get her. I will come with my 
toothless, no haircut, overweight, damn near 50 old years old ass and pick up your 26-year-old girlfriend and have no problem with it. There's nothing she could tell me that I ain't heard. She can look at me and shake her head all you want. And I will read her like a book, come at her the exact way she approached me. She'll be surprised, talking about some, oh, well, I guess it's okay if you call me. Yeah, see, I don't, fuck that. Everybody talk about swag and game and everything like that. Well, 90% of psychology. I mean, don't, don't sweat it. For all you younger people and guys who are having trouble with women, a single thing I like to tell people, don't let, don't play your cards. If you like her, I'm not saying ignore her, but treat her like a human being. There are situations where that, that, that varies, but that's when you get to those levels, you'll get it. Don't overplay your position. Oh, I really like you. Oh, and then don't go kissing her ass. That, that's fucking creepy. Just be you as if you're talking to a motherfucking uh, your dude. And be you. Show your who you are and how you are. And keep on stepping. She's going to be like, dang, that's a confident, strong man. I was looking good. You know, I mean, he gave me a little glance, but after that, he wasn't, huh, really. It, 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 it draws attention. But all this fucking hoofing and panting and yelling out car windows, the only thing you're going to get is them thoughts. And if that thought's all you want, then, bro, you might as well just go get your money up. Who cares about game? Just get your money up and flash a wallet, bro. That's all you got to do. Um, but that's, uh, anyway. Um, what else we got? Um, I've been to school a few times, been to the military, all these things, and, and I've always done it for the experience, and I've always seen everyone treated different. Like, so many people are gung-ho, hurrah, hurrah, military. I was like, dang, they mind fuck me. They probably did still, but they're not going to mind fuck me. That was the first thing, first day in boot camp, I was like, they ain't about to mind fuck me. And, man, yeah, some of they did, and I ain't going to lie, I'm still a little militant about things. Um. Yeah, so all I'm getting at with this whole thing, and I'm going to cut it off in about two minutes, um, go around, man, get information, find a real understanding of the world you live in so you can be you. I'm still on a journey and a path, and I'm still haven't found my full happiness, but I have found the things that lead me to it, and that's understanding who I am, which took damn near 50 years. Anybody who say they're, they're, they 100% know who they are? They either haven't done enough, seen enough, or been through enough. Because I think it's a lifelong journey. Um, and that's my opinion. Alright guys, that was a little bit about me. I'm putting on YouTube. Sorry, check my TikTok, Chris Dubois 2022. Um, just look it up. Look up everywhere. I'm trying to be everywhere at the same time because I think I got a message in the story that people need to hear. Alright, thank you. Peace. Uh, oops.